I never owned Lululemon for like ever. And I did it on purpose because I knew I would get super into it if I let myself buy anything from Lulu. So I just avoided it. But then somebody gave me a gift card to Lululemon and I was like, okay, I'll get one thing. This is my second thing in the last like month uh, from Lululemon. This was a $70 shirt. Like, I, why did I do that? Why did I do that? $70 could buy me like a week of food. Not including supplements or monster. It's cute though, right? Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video of some of my favorite food and supplements, stuff that I like to take in, a lot of my take or eat all year round, uh, but especially utilize during times where I'm cutting or trying to lose some weight. We're gonna start with food because that's most exciting, obviously. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start with is actually what I start my day with, which is coffee, obviously. Um, but I brought some of my coffee collection out. Mind you, this is not everything. I have more, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what this brand is. I think I got it at Marshall's, but toasted marshmallow. Yum. My favorite brand, Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Oh, they make the best flavored coffees. These are my two top faves for sure. Old Fashioned Donut and Caramel caramel Coffee Cake. Oh my God. These are so, so, so good. Um, and another one here by 8 o'clock. Just French Vanilla uh, Standard Flavor. I love these. I get so creative with my coffee. I'll like mix a couple of these and brew a pot of like a couple of them mixed. And then I'll add a little bit of stevia and a little bit of sugar-free creamer. Either French Vanilla Sugar-Free or... I think it's Irish, not Irish cream, sweet cream. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's sad how much I love it and get excited for my coffee in the morning. Another thing, I mean, I think everybody on prep, I think every human, every person on the planet likes peanut butter or nut butters in general. But my two favorite right now are the kinds that have protein in them. Um, it just justifies a little bit more adding, uh, nut butter to anything that I'm eating. Um, so two of my favorites right now are the Nuts and More Chocolate Almond Butter. And honestly, I was not crazy about this when I first got it. It has kind of a gritty consistency, and I think that might be because of the flax and all of the fiber that's in here. I don't know. I did not, I was not into this. And even on its own, still, I'm not that into it. And I've not tried anything else by Nuts and More. I know that they're like a huge deal um, for a lot of people. But I like that there's 14 grams of protein in a serving. Really like this, but only in oatmeal. That's it. And uh, this stuff, holy cow. I can't stop talking about it. You guys know if you follow me on Instagram, I'm super, super into this stuff right now. Holy moly cannoli. I would eat this whole jar, one sitting, no problem, no regrets. Maybe a few regrets, but I'd be so happy. This stuff is so, 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 so good. I feel like I'm like all up in my camera's face. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Um, so this is the brand Cracked Nut Butter. And um, I found it at GNC. The nut butter itself, it's not peanut butter. It's, um, it's actually peanut free, I believe. What's in this? Pecans, almonds. Pecans and almonds primarily, it looks like. I'm fine with that. So, so, so good. Literally tastes like cookie dough. It's very, it's a very natural taste. If you're used to like super sugary peanut butters, this may not be exactly the one for you, but there's so much chocolate in it. I, it might be the one for you anyway. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Um, and I like this too because it's uh, 14 and a half grams of fat, six grams of carbs, um, only two grams of sugar, but this has 11 grams of protein. Cannot say enough wonderful stuff about this. Next food item I like. I meant to save this for this video, but I was very hungry after my workout today and I like rip roared through the bag, but these are not news to most of you. You guys have heard of the um, Quest Nutrition, the people who make Quest Bars came out with protein chips. And to be honest with you, when I first tried these, not a fan. I mean, if you're thinking that you're gonna get like baked Lay's, you're not. And you guys, the macros on these, kind of amazing. Two grams of fat, five grams of carbs, 21 grams of protein. How on earth they're able to make a chip that's that low carb and it's essentially just protein? Um, I don't know, it's kind of a miracle. So no, I'm super into these. This is the sour 
cheddar and sour cream flavor. I really, really love the barbecue flavor. Um, but I've tried all the flavors and they're all, I mean, they're decent. I mean, don't, you're not going to eat Doritos. Don't go in with the mindset that it's Doritos. Um, go in with the mindset that it's a chip that's five grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein and just hope for the best. <laughs> no, but these are really good. Um, last food item. Um, and I only have a few, no, there's two of them, two more. Okay. I only have a few food items because primarily my diet's very clean and my diet's very boring. I would say the bulk of the food that I eat on a daily basis is Greek yogurt, bananas, protein powders, shakes, um, oats, and yeah, like that's just the stuff that's on repeat. I'm, and egg whites, eggs, eggs, whites, fat free cheese. Ugh. Yeah, my diet's very boring. That's why I don't post a lot of my stuff on Instagram because I don't get that creative. I, no. <laughs> oh, darn, I spilled coffee on the floor. Precious coffee. All right, another item I have here, which I don't know, I've never seen these, uh, anybody talk about them on uh, in the world of the internet. Um, I'm so into them though. I found them at Whole Foods and it's this brand, what's this brand called? Explore Asian Authentic Cuisine, but it's black bean spaghetti shape. That's weird. <laughs> but the thing that I'm into the most is that this is two grams of fat per serving, 17 grams of carbs per serving as opposed to like the normal 48 for normal pasta and 25 grams of protein. I'll eat this, like two servings of this, and it's under 40 grams of carbs and like 50 grams of protein. That is really, really impressive to me for a pasta. Um, and in terms of the flavor of this, the flavor is not really weird. The texture is a little bit unique. It's a little bit grainy, but it's so filling. Last food item. I hope my coach is not watching because he is a big advocate of keeping your food clean and free of chemicals. And I'm about to show you basically two bottles of pure chemicals. But you gotta live, right? I mean, you gotta live. So, this is not new to anybody. I'm sure many people on prep are super excited when just seeing this bottle right here. Um, this is Fat Free Ready Whip tastes like a dream um two tablespoon two tablespoons of a serving which how the hell you even measure that I don't know um a serving size is five calories that you can't you can't beat that one gram of carb per serving I have done the math and you can basically have this entire jar can of ready whip for like 37 grams of carbs it's worth it I'm not, I'm not, I have, I have had a whole can in one day. Not on purpose, it's just like one thing would lead to another and suddenly a whole can's gone. Um, but my favorite thing to do is put some of this in a bowl and top it with some of this. If you've not tried this, it's like the poor man's dieting ice cream. <laughs> not at all, but kinda, but not really. It's like the Quest chips, just don't expect too much. Um, you guys are all familiar for the most part with Walden's Farm, Walden Farm's line of dressings, sauces, things like that. Zero calorie or calorie free when you get all this crap on your hands because you're disgusting and can't keep your stuff clean. Gross. Um, the, I've tried a lot of Walden Farm stuff and a lot of it is disgusting, even for me. And I don't have a very high expectation of diet foods um this stuff's legit though i put this um in almond milk for like chocolate milk i will put it on ice cream um pretty much anything greek yogurt um strawberries <laughs> but hook it up with the ready whip this is like a match made in heaven you guys just trust me trust me uh the last things that i wanted to show you guys was kind of my supplement the first thing i'm going to show you guys is pretty much the only protein I enjoy anymore, which is the Cellucor Whey Protein. This flavor is chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm into it. <laughs> and I'm saying like, this is my favorite. Um, the only reason Cellucor is my favorite is because I love the macros. It's 130 calories for this particular one. Uh, 1.5 grams of fat, four grams of carbs, two grams, only one gram of sugar, I'm sorry, and 25 grams of protein, which is pretty good. I mean, that's gonna be kind of standard across the board, but um, they have so many cool flavors. 
which I, I'm down with that. Like, I've been taking protein powders, protein shakes for so long now that, like, your standard chocolate or vanilla is just so gross to me. Like, I know, I'm a baby. I eat mung bean noodles, but I can't handle a chocolate protein shake. I don't know. Um, but I like they have uh, chocolate chip cookie dough is this flavor, and I'm into it. I'll mix this into, you know, I don't even have shakes all that much. Um, I'll mix this into, like, Greek yogurt or... Almond milk, I guess that's a shake, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like this. I've also tried the chocolate raspberry truffle, which I loved at first, and then I was okay with it, and I'm kind of coming back to loving it. I've also tried the peanut butter marshmallow one that everyone's super crazy about. It's a little too sweet for me. I don't typically like peanut butter flavored things, so it's okay. Now I'm like... Ugh. I really do like sell your core away. I just, I, I don't like protein powders in general, um, but when it comes to a protein powder, this is kind of the best in terms of being able to cook with it, being able to mix it into stuff. Um, I've had the best results with this, so I really like it. Another sell your core product that I use, especially during dieting season is uh, branch chain amino acids, BCAAs. Um, I know that this stuff helps preserve muscle um, there's a lot of things that it does, but primarily what I use it for is to help preserve muscle as I'm cutting because when you lose weight, obviously you can lose both fat and muscle, and we don't want that. So I will take a scoop of this in some water and drink it during my cardio. Sometimes I'll just drink it during the day because it does also help with recovery. And after three years of lifting now, that is really important to me is to make sure I recover correctly because as a result of not taking care of my body, I've had so many more like injuries and strains and stuff like that. So we're taking care of ourselves now. This isn't the flavor of Tropical Punch, by the way. I tried another flavor of theirs. They're all fine. I like them. Another thing I have is glutamine. I just recently started taking this for joint support because my knees are shot, you guys, just from all the box jumps, the plyometrics, the tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of running I did last fall. My knees are just crap right now, and I just want to start taking better care of my joints and stuff because I'm going to be doing this for my whole life, I anticipate, you know, working out and stuff, so... Glutamine, joint support, I'm into it. I also take CLA, which I know it's, it's supposed to help with fat metabolism, um, fuels energy, things like that. Uh, I really I really have seen a lot of good results by adding this into my diet, um, whether I'm dieting or even on my off season or whatever, um, just to help keep me lean. It just helps with body composition in general. Um, also, this is just a GNC brand. I'm not that picky about it. Um, I also, from the GNC brand, once I start getting a little bit closer to my show, we'll start taking L-carnitine, which kind of does a similar thing to CLA. It's an amino acid, um, but yeah, they kind of work together well to uh, help lean you out a little bit more. So those are my favorite foods, my favorite supplements, the things that I like to take to help stay lean and fit, um, especially going into a bikini prep season. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe. <laughs>